Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video channel. Today we're going to be going over some changes that has happened within our team. Basically going over like what's going to happen in the next two weeks for like esports and stuff like on my end. And I'm um, going to just play some ranks in the, rank in the background just talk about it a little bit. So let's get straight into it. Alright, here we are into a rank game. So yeah, let's get started with things. Um, I'm going to start on like the main thing. Um, let me just do the bans first. But pile of plays, you always want to try and ban probably like a thrower. Thrower is pretty good. Stu is a good ban. Uh, like Buster as well can be really good. Clancy I don't like as well. I'm just gonna ban Bali because why not? But yeah, so let's start things off here with you know I'm gonna just clear some things up. STMN EU is our team, um, but due to the fact that the NA team didn't qualify to LCQ or Worlds, we are the only S STMN team. So I don't think we branded as STMN EU. I'm not quite sure, but we're STM STMN and um, it's me, Angel Boy, and Nob. But due to re uh, recent issues with Nob's visa he's una unable to get it and we have um recruited bobby from stmn na and he's gonna be playing the lcq with us as well so yeah so the lcq roster is going to be me angel boy and bobby that's gonna be the roster going into lcq um yeah the main goal is worlds and stuff and the world's roster will be decided at a later point here but most likely it's gonna be me and nob and angel boy as you know that's the original roster here just to clear things up as well uh, i think that's like one of the main things to go over here but yeah, Bobby's going to be flying in soon. It's like a Saturday right now. Um, I'm filming literally in like an hour before I normally upload. That's kind of like my schedule here. But why do we have a Moist? I've been talking. We have a Moist and a Lou. Oh, dear. All right. How do we save this draft? Do we go Angelo, Max? Dude, what have I been put up with? All right. We're just going to go Angelo and hope for the best here. But yeah, so that's what's happening there. And uh, it's currently Saturday the 10th, and um, Bobby's going to be coming to EU the next few days. We're going to be scrumming with him. LCQ's in about two weeks. It's going to LCQ, get day, one, uh, day one is on the 24th. And um, that's we play the first two games on A stream. We play against Connections, which is China, then we play against LG. Day two is going to be a random draw at the end of day one as well, so we don't know our day two opponent yet, if we make it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the schedule for LCQ. So, yeah, I'm going, like, out boot camp in, like, six days, and I'll be back on the 6th of September. So, I'll be gone for, like, two, three weeks. So, I'm going to be trying to make, you know, loads of pre-recorded videos. I won't be able to do daily videos. I think that's, like, way too much effort, you know, doing about 15 videos in, like, one day or something like that. Because I still have scrims and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm trying my best on recording as much as possible here. But yeah, for the most part, I'm going to try and upload a video every other day while I'm abroad. You know, just have um, everything edited and stuff like that. So that's going to be the schedule there. So if you see, you know, very, very old content, it's because I'm away for a very long time. So, you know, I wait for like three weeks. I won't be able to keep up with stuff. Um, I don't know if there'll be a new update by the time I'm gone or something like that. I'm completely unaware of like the update schedule with the uh, Brawl Stars. So if there is a new update, I'm sorry if I miss out on content and stuff like that. But, you know, as soon as I get back, from LCQ, um, you know, we'll be putting out a lot of content and, you know, just trying to freshen things up as well. And I know a lot of you have been wanting me to do the free to play series. I'll say it's going to start when I get back from LCQ. Like, I can guarantee that, um, you know, I have like a little bit more time and I want to be focusing on content once again. I feel like I've been doing decently, but then I've drifted off away from it. So I think doing that will be pretty good. And um, we are completely owning these people, by the way. Like, we have a Moist who's, you know, doing all right. But, yeah, he's going down as well, maybe. There we go. Nice pace value right there. I'm going to try and heal up as well. But, yeah, that's basically how my next two, three weeks are looking as well. I thought I'd give you guys an update, you know. Just have some more, like, talking instead of, like, me always just, you know, just giving tips and stuff like that. Playing rank. I just thought I'd personalize a little bit. Just so you guys know what's going on in the background. Because I know a lot of you are interested in esports and, like, I'm not only just like a YouTuber, I do have other things to do as well. But yeah, I try and dedicate a lot of time into this game and creating content for you guys. And you guys have been showing me amazing support, so I do really appreciate that. But yeah, um, that's basically it. So we can just go back to uh, focusing on the gameplay. Like, I don't know, I've just kind of been like doing my thing with the Angelo here. But I don't know how we're doing so good with the Moise, but it's working out quite well here. But yeah, let's try and do the same thing again. I'm going to go in the middle. Pierce Gadget, always a need. I think this is the only build on Angela you really have to go. Anything else is not needed. And um, when you play against a Surge as well, you just don't want to feed him. Like, you want to keep him hard stuck for the longest time. for that Pierce value right there. There we go. We are doing quite well for ourselves here, I'd say. There we go. He's been quite weak and he's dead. 
Nice. Dude, how? What? No, I missed. Okay. Nice kill from Morris. Let's try not to feed the Surge now. Go get a Morris. Here we go. Alright, we get the Pierce here. Let's just get the homes on right now. Guild's coming in. There we go. Let's pierce him there. He should be one shot. And he's dead now. There we go. Nice. Okay. He's dead as well. Alright, I'm actually hitting lots of shots as well. Which is crazy. I gotta feel like I don't hit this many shots with Angelo most of the time. Okay, there we go. We're doing quite well here. Let's go with the poison. Bang. And there we go. Alright, that's gonna be a pretty solid game. The fact that I was talking half the time, explaining some things. We were able to get that game over it. 13 and 0. I did not die once. Wow, that's crazy. Well, you yeah, should talk more. Um, talk about random stuff more while, while playing. But there you go. Plus 97 ELO, guys. Let's hop straight into the next game. All right, here we are on to the next game here. We have Hideout, which I do like as a map. I feel like it's a pretty good map. You can play a lot of different brawlers and stuff. It's very strategical, so it benefits someone with good draft knowledge. And I feel like it's a pretty good map to have here. I'm going to ban Gene, though. I think Gene is pretty good here. Covers a lot of area. Able to pull through the walls and stuff. I feel like it's a very, very strong brawler. But yeah, in terms of content, it's basically going to be ranked. Like, I need a new update in order to switch things up here. I feel like ranked's the only thing I'm able to upload. Anything else, um, I feel like a lot, a lot of people aren't interested in. Um, I could do free-to-play, but again, it's just such... Like, it's a lot of effort to do the free-to-play because when you start out a new account and there is, like, a limit at the start of the game. Like, if I was mid-game, um, you know, about, like... 15k trophies 20k trophies and i was like able to play rank beyond you know having level t if i get 10 like level 11 brawlers that's when i can play rank beyond diamond and stuff and if i was you know able to get that then i would consistently be doing the free to play series but the fact that i have a little bit of a roadblock and I have to grind another account while i have tournaments going on it just doesn't seem like possible for me i feel like it's very very difficult for that to happen let's try a berry here like this brawler has been bugging me um I haven't figured it out quite yet in terms of like it's been a meta for so long and I haven't been able to figure it out. But let's see if we can do it here. Play against a call here. Another green here. This, this could be Angel Boy because I know Angel Boy grinds uh, Power League a lot. Not Power League, ranked a lot. So yeah, let's see what we can get going here. If I was our teammate, RT, uh, is Piper available? Piper's not available. Uh, maybe RT is the best here. Oh, we're going Fang. All right. Well, at least we can heal the Fang and get loads of value here. Let's see. Um, yeah, all right. Well, I don't have any bills to change here. I need this gadget for the call. Star power as well. Yeah. Oh, someone dodged. All right, here we are on to the next game. I'm going to start leaving dodges in because I still talk about draft. It's just I can't play the game. If you guys find that useful, me just talking about the draft and, like, there's being no gameplay, I'll leave, you know, all the dodges I get more often because, like, I do get it quite frequently where we finish the draft and, boom, they just disappear. So... Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that more often here. We're getting Rico out of the way, though. Um, oh, voice crack. Um, I don't want to play against Rico. I do think Rico is not the easiest to counter on ranked here. I feel like ranked, you get away with it a lot of the time because you gotta you got to build a comp against a Rico. You can't really pick one solo option that's going to be crazy good against it. you got to kind of build around it. And as you guys know on ranked, that's very, very difficult. So, yeah, that's the reason why. Sandy first pick here is a very good option. Um, Gale's banned, Barry's banned twice, Clancy's banned. Okay, we nearly have mirror bands here, which is crazy, but yeah, Sandy's being picked here. Um, I would go Meg mid probably. Uh, I think Meg mid should be a really good option, and then I'd probably go Ruffs just so you have the wall break aspect. I do also like Chester, I feel like Chester's emerged quite a lot here. Um, but since we have Chester, it's like mid range. I don't want two mid range options, so maybe I go Piper. I think Piper can be a great option. Uh, having a Piper and a tank counter is really good. We have Gene as well, and we have Angelo. We also have Max. Mm, I'm going to go with Gene, actually. I think Gene pairs very well with Chester. If you pull someone into Chester, Chester's able to pretty much one-shot them anyways. So, yeah, this is going to be a really good setup in case they go tank. And I feel like they have to play the range game now. And we have last pick, so we can probably get a good throwaway game. That's kind of how I'm thinking right now. But they go with Nita. Nita's a good pick against uh, Gene, I'd say. So they have pretty good lanes. I think a good counter to those two lanes though is Surge. I think Surge is pretty good. If you go the second gadget where you get all your ammo back, I think that's phenomenal with Surge here. Another option we can go is Max. Gene Max Chester is probably a great combination as well. Just pulling that off. But let's see. Let's see how we go. Um, 
Uh, so that bow, which is interesting. Meg? I don't know about Meg. I, I don't like the idea of Meg lane here. Would prefer something with the range or something with control. Cord? Cord's probably a little bit better. Just because I feel like Meg's just awkward in the lane hands. You know, not valuable to have. But yeah, this is the build we go in Gene. We go in Vengeful Spirits because there's going to be very few scenarios that we're going to need not back. And I feel like Vengeful Spirits is just so, so strong right now. You know, being able to finish Brawlers off and stuff like that. I feel like it's very, very valuable. Let's see. Let's see how we do here. Um, okay, Nita, Sandy, and Bo. Alright, let's see how we do in the start right now. I'm going to try and um, dominate the mid here. Get an early control against these type of control rulers always helps. Okay, let's just pop our gadget. He's dead. There we go. We get one kill already. Can we get another one? Let's just keep pinching with the Chester. Okay, nice kill from the Chester there. Alright. Bow's going to be on the left here. Okay, Cord with a very ambitious super. I don't know why he's just flinging it. 20 meters across the screen, but um, it's all good. It, it happens, you know. Maybe he's limit testing how far his super can go. All right, can we get a pinch here? Mm, there we go. Let's get get another gadget out. Perfect time to use that. There we go. Bear's gone down as well. Power honking outside. I don't know why. There we go. All right, they're both pretty weak. I think there's one more mine here. All right, I don't know. Nice. He takes him to a realm. Let's just heal up our teammate a little bit. Oh, he juked that. That's actually a really good juke by the Sandy there. Normally, I don't get juked like that. But that was quite good. I'll give him that. Alright. We've got to be a little bit careful. Hypercharge Bear coming out. Got to focus that. There we go. Alright. Chester actually destroys Nisa. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Sandy on the right. I know that. Into the realm. He does. He's going to go for the kill. If he does, then that's not good. That is not good. Okay. We're going to go back here. I don't know where Sandy's going to end up landing. There we go, Sandy coming to our right. Nice, takes him to the realm. He goes down though, which is not great. And two of them in the grass. There are mines in the mid as well. Just gotta keep that in mind. Okay, I'm not gonna pull right now. Nice, let's pull him now. There we go. Alright, we get the kill. Hopefully Nita doesn't spawn on us and has a bear. And there we go. Alright, he kinda did, but you know, time ran out, and that's pretty good. Alright, we're doing good so far. Not the worst situation in the world here. And again, Gene's just able to just com completely control the game once you get one pull. And at the start, picking off, just spamming your gadgets at the start is the best thing you can do. Pretty much with any brawler, like, you just spam your gadgets and it gives you a big advantage. If you have, like, Gene or something, people do that with Janet, stuff like that. It's just super easy to get control. Alright. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. I'm gonna use my gadget on one person only. There we go, we get two hits there. And Cord's gonna go with a mute. Nice, let's get another gadget here. Let's get Paul onto him. He goes down, and there we go. We've kind of taken out everyone here. And we're doing pretty well here. Where is Sandy? Sandy, we spotted on the far right. If you guys look on the top right of my screen, we did see him go there. Okay, there's one more mine here. Cord, you are a very ambitious person, aren't you? Very, very ambitious. Yeah, let's pop another gadget there. It's going to be our last gadget right now, but I think Chester's going to be able to clean off some kills. Hmm, this is really bad. Really, really bad. Hmm, I don't like this. Okay, we go down here, but Chester's doing good. I love this Chester. This Chester knows how to play perfectly, so that's really good. Alright, let's see if we can get the Sandy here. Here we go, we get the kill. Um, Chester destroys the bear. Nice, he takes him to the realm, which is pretty good. Um, there's one more mine here in the mid. Okay, well, there it was. Uh, let's just try and do this. There we go. Alright, game sense helping us with the Invis pull. Here we go, we get the two hits there. He gets blown up. But it's fine, because I think Chester's going to be able to get that. Let's just keep them both weak here. Chester getting the gems now. Let's try and keep this bow back. And let's not feed Nita. So loads of things we don't want to feed here. And we do feed the Nita hypercharge. Takes him to a realm though, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go down here, which is not the best. Okay. We keep him weak. Alright, please kill the bear. Alright, bear's down. Can they reset? They probably can reset. That's why he's mm, this is not good. Not good. We just need to survive with the gems, please. Nice. Okay, there we go. There's 11 now. 
the gems. Alright, we have 11. Uh, there's mines in the middle here, I think. Just be careful of that. Nita has another hypercharge there. Get that, please. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I'm not pulling because there's no need right now. I'm gonna try and scare it off with the bow. There we go. He goes down as well. Okay. Alright, I'm still holding this one pull. Nice, that is what we needed. Able to collect these gems here, I think. Come on, kill him. Nice, okay. Oh, hello. Hello, what's happened here? Alright, I think we're good here. Um, yeah, the bow literally just spawned on us there. I, I, I don't know what quite happened. Uh, I think this should be game here. I'm gonna pull the Nita. Alright, we can't pull him. But yeah, teammate's going up top. And then let's pull a bow away from him. And there we go. So, yeah. Bit con bit hectic towards the end. You know, back and forth. But, yeah. This Chester played really good. And I don't know how I got star player to be honest. I think this Chester should have got star player. He played pretty good. He knew how to take down the bears instantly and focus on that. And another plus a 100 elo. That is a good amount right there. Um, let's see what our leaderboard ranking is looking like. We get star drop first. Rare. We get nothing. Let's see what our rank is. Top 400. Let's get straight into the next one. Alright, here we are on to the next game here. We have double swoosh. And, um, if you want to be banning Jean, Jean's like a must ban. I think Clancy is also a must ban right now. Um, because then you don't, then you can't play tanks or anything. You can't even play mid range. So, yeah, I think Jean, Clancy, Gale are probably the best bans you can do on this map. So just get rid of those. Let's see what the other team banned. Other team banned Clancy as well. You know, banning both ways is not harmful. Lily and Angelo are interesting bans though. And on top of that, going Colt first is interesting. So, yeah. And my team has level 9 Jackie because why not? Honestly, the, Je the Jesse is probably a lot better. The Jesse is probably a lot better here. Hopefully, goes Jesse. Um, most of the time, guys, if you have like a low level brawler, unless you're like insane at it, like picking a higher level brawler is probably better because. You don't want to be at a disadvantage going into the match. So, like, that's, like, what I do in my mini. Like, if I have, like, five level 10 brawlers or something, I just kind of focus on picking those and just mastering them. Because, yeah, you can get away with it a lot of the time, just picking the same brawler. As long as you just learn how to play it. You can kind of play into any matchup. Alright. We have Buster here. So, they have Bow and Colt. Um, I don't know if I want to go Buster. Buster's normally good against this type of stuff. But, we already have range. And we might go triple range here. Alright. There's a Meg, Bow, and a Colt. What is the correct pick to go here? I do actually think it's Buster. Um, Buster's probably the best thing we can go. Not Moist. Um, Sandy as well. There's Surge. There's Kit. There's Cord. There's Chester. I'm gonna go Buster here. I, I think Buster against this should be a very good matchup. Like, even if the map's open, I'm gonna get my shield eventually, so hopefully I'm able to push out. That is what I'm hoping for. But let's see. And I'm sorry if you hear any background noises. It's from outside, and... Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. I just realized, why do we have a bell? I, like, I know there's a cult, but, like, I feel like bell's probably a worse pick than cult. Like, how... Why does this happen? Who's mid? So Jesse's gonna be mid. I need to go on the right, ideally. I can just sit behind the wall. Yeah, I definitely need to go on the right and just sit behind the wall here. Okay, let's see how we can do here on the right. Who's gonna push? It's gonna be Meg. There we go. One, two, three. He's out of Meg already. Let's try and help out our teammate here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's happening here, but hopefully they can get the kill. But he's behind us. Okay, nice kill there. One, two, three. He's down. Let's just pick up the gems because, yeah, I don't think our teammate's going to get those. One shot. Get the gems. Get the gems. There we go. Look at that. That's that. That is literally how you transfer gems. How does he die? Who does he die by? How does he actually die? I'm like, I'm amazed. Hmm. We go down there. Meg's in the big form again. I'm gonna just get my shield and just probably run at him. But teammates are not making it easy for us. There we go. Alright, there's bow mines here as well. Teammates go down. Why? Teammates, what are you doing? This might be the worst set of teammates I've ever had. 
Like, at least he has hypercharge, but. Come on. Nope, this is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Both pop hypercharge. Both have no intentions of resetting or anything like that. And uh, there we go. Game lost right that. Game lost just like that here. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Uh, I need to go left. I probably need to go left here because I just don't know. Like, this bell should be in the cult. He has, like, good side. Left side is only considered the good side on this map. But, like, I just don't know. I just really don't know. But let's see. I'm going to push up right now. Here we go. There we go. We get the re we get the Meg our mech. You know, suiciding for it is not bad. But like, realistically, how do you die to the little form? Like, how is this happening? There's one man in the middle. I need to get it. Because yeah, he just gets hit by it. Here we go. Put the shield there. One shot. And there's so many gems in the middle to grab, and he didn't grab it for some reason. Nice from the bell. Alright, you know what? We're swapping. Take the Meg. Take the Meg. If you want the Meg, take it. I will find a way to take this call. Okay, there we go. Alright, he opened up. Like, I'm getting hit a little bit, but I think it's fine. Okay, we get taken down there. I should not be on the cult, but you know what? We'll, we'll go along with it. We'll go along with it. I'm close to my shield, though. The shield definitely helps quite a lot. Can I have my shield, please? Stop running away. I need my shield. I'm going down again. It's game over. It's game over. It's game over. Game over. Just not fun. Not fun. <sighs> Why do I bother? Why do I even bother? Just, yeah. No help whatsoever. No help. And I don't know that they can get him. Nope, they can't. Well, that was... A way to end the video i guess that was one way to end the video we got one and nine but like i don't know what you want me to do like i just have to cover the whole map and yeah oh anyways that's gonna wrap up the video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace